Oh man, now I'm super excited because we get to play my favorite one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so happy. This is my favorite one. <laughs> I love the music. Are you there yet, Freddy? Oh, it takes oh, me right my. back. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10 gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I almost wish I had my webcam turned Three on so you could see my cheesy dance moves. <laughs> oh, and we're not even in the 2000s yet. 1999. Yeah, I think this one and the third one are the ones we played the most because they were your and mine's favorite. There's Cousin Calico's Ranch! I'm raring to go! Oh, another song. Let me ride with the tide, let me spend my days outside on wide open wings. Come with me and Yeah, cactus can totally live underwater. I think maybe it's like coral that's shaped like a cactus. Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd has been rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. Nope. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. All right, let's see. Let's go this way. I know, right? Oh, of course I went the wrong way. Yeah, the sheriff just decides to go out of town. I think we find him later too, like hiding. <laughs> Look, Freddy, a purple sea urchin. We're rich. Here we are in Briny Gulch. Ah, oh, this, this is the music. Must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. I would totally get the soundtrack for this game right now. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to play that Spy Fox game that I have the soundtrack for. <laughs> Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. It won't open! It's locked! Alright. Like, if I ever had a western-themed party, I would just play the music from this game and see if anybody noticed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, I always thought this was so gross. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Or good squid of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. Uh, apricot. Apricot? Some rustlers took my cousin Togfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin Togfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. Fair enough. Oh man, yeah, that stuff sticks with you forever. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator <gasps> of Soda Loon. It's me! <laughs> we wanted to ask she even has curly you hair. any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh boy! Maybe they left a clue! Thank you! <laughs> I know, we look so much alike. Curly blonde hair. We're both girls. <laughs> look, Freddy! Maybe this is a clue! Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll <laughs> hang on to it. That combination must be important. <laughs> yeah, if I was a fish, I would to totally have a job like bartending. Something boring like that, you know? And this is my pal, Luther. Well, hello! Eight-fingered Phil! Doctor of Piano Ology, at your service. Oh, Stella she... at the counter said she saw some suspicious-looking types I did see some suspicious-looking types in here yesterday. Looking types in did here you yesterday. see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Oh yeah, they're not underage at all. Let's see what drinks they have what on top. What can I do for you kids? One coral soda, please. One soda on the house. Oh. Oh. So we've been watching um, Naruto. Steven's watched it like three times, but I've never watched it. I never got into Naruto as a kid, which is surprising because I really liked anime, as you know. <laughs> and so the other night we were talking about, you know, what we would be if we were in the Naruto universe. And Steven would be like, you know, this crazy nin awesome ninja. And I was like, <laughs> I would want to be the ramen shop person <laughs> and he got so disappointed in me that I would want to be somebody so boring if I could be a ninja I just want to run a ramen shop <laughs> uh, well it was like so over overrated it seemed like as a kid like everybody loved Naruto so I didn't want to love Naruto yes I was one of those I still am one of those honestly <laughs> Jeez, that's a big shark. <laughs> well, that's embarrassing for both of us. The good. 
Thank you, Luther, for reading that to us. The bad. Oh my gosh. Well, like, the fights take so long. Like, five or ten episodes for one fight. <laughs> like, even now, that's why it's so hard to watch. Like, I can't even imagine- Steven was watching it when it was airing on, like, Adult Swim on Cartoon Network. So I can't imagine watching it- Half of the episode is recap. And then you get a little bit of the same fight that you watched last week. And then having to wait another week before you even get, like- You'd have to wait, like, a month before you could finish this fight scene. I can't imagine. Thank God for Netflix. <laughs> They looked like they were having fun. Well, I believe part of the reason that it's so many, so much filler was that after a while, the anime caught up to where the manga was, and so they had to like make content that didn't really have any effect on anything. Apple juice? Ooh, I could really go for some apple juice right now. I haven't watched My Hero Academia yet. Scale Rider. I've heard good things about it. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. <laughs> you feel guppy? Well, do ya? <laughs> On the butt. The end. I just finished rewatching um Steven Steven got a subscription to Crunchyroll so he could watch Dragon Ball. Rewatch it, I should say. So I watched um Fruits Basket. Again. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Yeah, we, we have Verve too, but we didn't pay for the um, premium. Which sucks because now I've caught up at a, in Food Wars to the point where you have to wait like two weeks for every episode. Because you don't, if you don't have premium, you don't get the brand new episodes when they come out. You can link your Crunchyroll to Verve with the same subscription? This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Oh, I totally forgot what the combination was. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. Oh man, I'll totally have to look into that. If we this can get premium tricky. on Verve. Oh, I totally One, wasn't listening. Two. Three. 
And that was three nine. and started with a nine. Was it One, seven? Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nope. Eight. Oh my gosh. The Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three zero seven. Oh, three zero seven. That's where Maybe seven we came can from. Get it open now. Nine zero eight seven. <laughs> we did it! It's open. Boy, I'll say. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Come <laughs> on, it! What's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still call it standing guard if you're sitting down. <laughs> I think they do. Keeping guard, I guess. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Let's confront him face to face. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. <laughs> we might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep. We all wear the latest wrestler gear. <laughs> I love how they have, like, a uniform. You can see from this picture in WrestleMania magazine. Hmm. An orange 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing buckle these things, swanky. you must not be rustlers. So you can't come in, cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he was so helpful. Oh my gosh. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, <laughs> I guess we won't need the combination anymore. <laughs> so gross. Well... I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Wouldn't you know it. You hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> no, not Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. <laughs> yes, the current sounds like snorting pigs. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles. I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> Are you sure? Did you see this picture? It's my son. Aww. Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby. Don't you think? He has your forearms. <laughs> Half Nelson. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, i do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials would we need to bring you for a belt buckle? 
Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you want me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle making equipment. Oh, thank that you. Seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training <laughs> and lots of expensive tools. I'm sure I can't but wait to see. You wouldn't have to worry about that. Can't wait to see this guy's process. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on his dance floor. Maybe Fair enough. later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you can say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. <laughs> and we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. So I get that this one's supposed to be a hammerhead shark. But are there such a thing as sawhead sharks? My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Oh, well, that voice actor sounds familiar. Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my Monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my. I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't. Nah. Yeah. Seems like a, not a great trade. Free wood. Oh boy, I see another purple sea urchin. I love how it's just laying out there, and I love the scene where she puts it somewhere in her body. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. I think there are a lot of other things she should be careful about when putting a giant 6x6 six six piece of wood into her body. Oh, we need a... Not, not lever. Handle? Twisty thingamabobby. I'm pretty sure that's the technical term for it. <laughs> um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. <laughs> Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir! Wow, in the last game they tried to make everybody look super innocent, but in this game they tried to make everybody look, like, oh. super guilty. Oh, hi, kids! Hello! <laughs> Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. One <laughs> screwdriver by any chance? Uh, uh. Seriously, dude? How? That would hurt. Our 
work here is done. Are yes. you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Putting a single nail into the center of a board. Oh, coffee break winky face? Oh, now that you're what are they going to do on their coffee break? Do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. I will. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm <coughs> Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oops. Oh no. You can't see this. It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. It's an old shoe. <laughs> hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? <laughs> no, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Jeez. <laughs> Looks like he's um ready to celebrate St. Patrick's Day with that hat on. Better to do? Maybe if we give him something to eat, we can swim past him while he's busy. Good idea. Ooh, look at those skills, Freddy. enough time for us to swim past. No, I don't think so. Ooh. What are you getting for food? I guess I'll ask you when you get back. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> I'm Snail Freddy mail, Fish, get it. And this is my Ooh, best fried rice. Buddy Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you <laughs> like the letter U. Just U? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, um, um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, <laughs> we'll just call you you. Most folks do. <laughs> there was, what is it? Oh, it's the Pink Panther. Or is the Pink Panther 2? It looks like the wheel oh, on this wagon has it's fallen you. off. Maybe we can fix it. <laughs> the wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Oh, Are you ready to start? Nah, I'm good. All right. Ooh. Should we get the nuts first, or should we get the gum first? Decisions, decisions. Maybe we'll keep exploring and see if we can find both. Oops, I wanted to click. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, what is that? Long Tooth McFluke. Wanted Long Tooth McFluke by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of urchin ticklin. Uh <laughs> 
urchin ticklin. Oh man, are his teeth tied in a bow tie? Wrong eye Jack. One Lasso Brandon. Stagecoach Scarin. These are all from that thing, aren't they? Oh man. Oh boy! A real ten gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked on a hat? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. See, I saw what a town to just the hiding. Part? They took my silver star. You can't be a sheriff without Hooded. a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah. I'll tell you what. This county would owe you a great service if you did. So we need a silver star, which I think is past... What? Was that a crab with a can of tomato soup on his back? We Ooh. made it! I knew we could do it! Just what we needed! It's a crank handle! Crank! What's it That's doing what they're called! All by itself. Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question! Oh, this music. I know this is like the third time I've said it, but... Look, Luther! Another purple sea urchin! Some people have... Boy, like, somebody's been leaving these all over the place! XYZ pop song that just takes them back to a certain moment in their life. For me, it's... <laughs> this Freddy Fish soundtrack. <laughs> Wow, that sounds kind of sad when I say it out loud, but whatever. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. <laughs> All right. So let's get... I think I know where we're going to be able... Well, we're going to go over there anyways. Let's get the nut. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish. And this is my pal, Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. <laughs> what Great. is this We'd potentially? Like to buy one of oh. your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. What well, is this potentially the nuts cost three incriminating piece of so I'll start evidence on the ground here? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay <laughs> up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's uh that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. He eats the paper just like That's the... an awfully strange poem. Just like the wrestler note told them to do. Coincidence? Here's another Probably. purple <laughs> sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple... Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course! You can select any shape you- This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you! <laughs> can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. 
Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the uh, 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, Shady shark isn't even exactly. a shark? How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. <laughs> Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> Very suspicious. They'll belong somewhere. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not how this would work in real life. But I mean, Here, what do I know? Let me help. <laughs> yeah, I get it, Luther. We did it, Luther. Oh my god, I would puke. It's not, Luther. <laughs> you are. Oh, that's better. So now, miraculously, this whole area hey, is underwater. This place is filled with water now. Oh boy. Yep, there's the last one that we need. Then. Oh man, I loved this part of, of the game growing up. Here, I'll get going here first. Oh! MSG! Wouldn't you love a crate full of MSG? That's got it! We need an S, right? Really like yeah. container. This could come in handy. Okay, this part. Don't ask lemonade. me why. As a kid, I just loved anything like lemonade. <laughs> watching Freddy um, taste spices. It's a little more sour than lemonade is. Boy, you're not kidding. I kind of like it, though. I think it'd be fun to grow lemongrass. It's pepper. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I would not want to eat that much of it. It feels like my tongue's on fire! <laughs> Is it? No, it looks okay. Barrels are there, definitely not airtight. One container of pepper. All right. What about cake? 
Will you eat cake? <laughs> Here, try it. Oh. But it's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, towards the end, you do kind of feel a little bit bad for the wrestlers. But not really. <laughs> oh, let's go get the gum. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. <laughs> and I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. For gum? Sure. Here's the other purple sea... Oops. Sorry, I didn't mean to press escape so quickly. Oh, well. Is this guy supposed to be like a person like Freddy or is it supposed to be like a dog fish kind of deal? Or it's more like a pet. That ought to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah, actually, Ew. he looks very happy. Ooh, but the blue star is so pretty. But we gotta get the silver one. I like this silver starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. No, really? All right, now let's get this mail cart going. Will it? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spooks him something awful. What's he got against glue? <laughs> Whoa! This little My arrangement fell right in place. Last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. <laughs> me. 100% <laughs> me. <laughs> Thank you. Here, I believe this is yours. My starfish! Yahoo! <laughs> I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure. <laughs> Poor Freddy. That old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp. Is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. Uh, you there? That's a loading zone. Looks like it's still up to us. Oh my gosh! Rustlers and rescue the hog. What a great Let's sheriff! Ride. Yeah. Let's ride. 
Oh boy, a 10 gallon hat. This is great. How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Oh. Bad time stories. All right, you hogfish, pay attention. Where did he get his sheep fish? I've gone to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over oh, they the hired them. So count them and go to sleep. <laughs> Please. Please just go to sleep. Please. His eye twitch. <laughs> Some pepper. Huh? <laughs> Gee, I hope he's okay. <laughs> I haven't seen anybody sneeze like that since that kid got a worm doodle up his nose at school. That Gross. was you, Luther. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot we needed hey. the on the necktie. A harmonica! <laughs> oh, Is it broken? I think maybe you just need some lessons. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Seriously though, I remember as a kid I was just like, go back and forth with the harmonica. I had no idea what I'm doing. I still wouldn't know how, I have the slightest idea of how to begin playing harmonica, like, properly. But they sound cool when somebody who knows how to play it is actually playing it. Would you like this harmonica? Would I? Oh boy! Huh? Oh, this is great! Oh, here, have this lovely bow tie in exchange with my compliments. Thanks. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, I can play the blues again. And now, we've got everything we need. Whatever Think. you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slim Special Super Stew. My own recipe. Ooh, why is it like... Oh, not quite ready. That color. <laughs> oh, another cutscene. Gobi, I'm at my wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy! Where'd they get the accordion? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. All right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, I think the rest that we need to do is in the town center? City center? Oh, you guys have got to watch this guy's amazing belt buckle making technique. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? 
<gasps> sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. Here is a letter. Here, this is for the belt buckle. <gasps> okay, stand back. <laughs> Put his safety goggles on. Ready for this? Yeah. Yep. My best work. <laughs> Just All that glue. Is about. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Torso. Please call me Nelson. wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. That's all. Two things down, I just gotta die. Ugh, this part always grossed me out so much. Miss Stella sure is pretty, don't you think? Mm. Look at how grossed out Freddy is. She does not want. <laughs> don't look at me like that, Freddy. Oh, oh God. <laughs> And then Luther is enjoying it way too much. <laughs> I think it looks nicer now. Alright, I think we got our full rustler uniform ready. We'll just enjoy the music a little bit longer. I'm glad I'm not using a webcam right now because <laughs> my dance moves are pretty embarrassing. What do you think? It might be a little big for you, but do <laughs> I look like a ruffler? Oh! Yes! Huh? That's even better than before! Good! There, this ought to fool them. Now, let's rescue those hogfish! Yeah! This place kinda gives me the creeps! Well, Don't worry, Luther. I'll protect you. Oh. Hey, that Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, <laughs> Luther. Little let's tail sticking try out. To get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, uh, fellow wrestler! And howdy! Uh, <laughs> I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori! He's having a terrible time with the hogfish! Well, go on in! He'll be glad to see you! Thank you! We did it! We're inside! <laughs> Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Uh-oh. Ah! Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. 
You're not going anywhere. Mr. Big will know what to do with you. Is it because we're children? Is that how you figured it out? <laughs> Nobody knows <laughs> Freaking the Luther. trouble I've seen. What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. These are heavy. Yeah. Well, there you go. There. That does it. Are the missing hogfish all right? We're not missing. We know just where we are. <laughs> Very astute observation, little hogfish. This is the sheet music for this little piggy. I know that one. Don't we all? <laughs> Did you come to rescue us? That's right. Good. The food in here is terrible. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there. But it looks like you and I can. Are you calling them fat, Freddy? <laughs> I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I see what we're gonna do. Fortunate that it Did still you works. Hear something like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Look at this! <laughs> Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? I don't know. <laughs> but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Oh, hello. Oops. Oops. What just... Oh, for a second I thought it was gone forever. Would have sucked. There! What are we gonna do with that? You'll see. It's a pretty big chain. I mean, I guess really it should be. Luther? Prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! Hopefully they know the way home, Let right? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around. <laughs> Real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, How convenient. That was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They 
kept talking to somebody called oh, welcome Mr. Back. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> When the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Mm, well, with the sheet music, it's gotta be Bill, this guy, right? When we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about Oh, the that's note. weird. Well, I... And when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheet music, Sheriff. The sheet music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Oh, wow. Murray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep. So I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Fat lot of good that did. Still, does that mean that you're... you're... I'm... Mr. Mr. Big. Big. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children. Holy and I don't make that much cow. as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people. Oh, now and nobody's it's talking. Just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, <laughs> I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad this worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? Mm. That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? <laughs> I think they're coming along quite well. Hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers too? Of course. More free Here, labor, I've got yeah. Something for you. Ten gallon hats. Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh boy! <laughs> now come on, you two. I love the shrimp is just like walking in the mid, mid I almost said mid air. In mid water. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. And there we have it, the fourth game. I get a pole, y'all go down the crowd at hole, darling. Shake a pop pop, shake a pop pop pop. <laughs> that one is definitely my favorite. I don't know. I think it was one of the first ones I played, aside from the actual first one. I didn't play them in order as a kid. It was kind of like whenever you found them in the computer store. <laughs> Talk when there was a computer store. You just got them and played them. Which is awesome, so we've got one more left. Do you really want to quit? 